Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Earthbound Mother 2. I am LP and last episode we made our way through this pyramid here uh, and we lost a party member. Yeah, Pooh, otherwise known as Tingle in my Let's Play here. Uh, he was taken away to go learn some secret technique and then we were afforded absolutely no guidance afterwards. So we're going to start this episode by speaking to these folks. Since I'm dealing in some pretty rough stuff, I can't run my business in town. Oh, you're a, you're a shopkeeper. Okay, well, what do you have to to sell us, buddy? You've got a French fry pan. $1,800, the most expensive piece of cookware I've ever seen. And it's actually an improvement. We can't afford it, though, and I don't think you have an ATM. The crusher beam also, good for Farku. Of course, the bazooka, I'm certain, would be as well. And the multiple? The multi-bottle rocket? What is that? Is that like a... Uh, like a multi-use bottle rocket because that would be really cool and totally worth the twenty one and a half hundred dollars but we really can't afford any of this can i like pull money out of your camel or something no what about this fella i am not sure if it was the dungeon man but there is a strange looking tower to the northwest this key i picked up a little while ago shall maybe open the tower you may have it i do not need it but it seems you have too many things oh yes we do because farku or excuse me, not Farku, Tingle was our item boy. He had the open spots. Everyone else is chock full of things, so let's let's sell you something right quickly. Okay, I wanted to use the snake. It's like a battle item, but I haven't had an opportunity, so I feel like that's probably the most uh, appropriate item to sell. So here's the key. And where actually are we? This person said to uh, go northwest. Okay. Yeah, we're on the other side of the river. And I don't see any bridges on the map either, so it's going to be hard for us to get back over. I guess we will be forced to continue on and just to double check northwest. Yeah, okay. But we're going. We're going northwest. We're getting followed. Oh my god! <laughs> we're getting assaulted! There's a lot going on. The Marauder Octobot. Fired a beam and did 74 points of damage to our boy LP here. I don't know how strong this bot is. We're full of of everything now, so we can use our PSI power, so we should do that. Uh, the guy that abducted Tingle healed us, which we are exceedingly thankful for, right? But it would have been nice if we could maintain our, our full party. <laughs> oh, couldn't defeat the Octobot in one turn. Goodness gracious. Hopefully, there we go. Okay, totally scrapped. Had a decent amount of health. I guess, I guess uh, it, it, it doesn't... So, I, I'm still thinking of us having four party members, right? So, one full turn is four attacks, and that's not the case anymore. So, I guess it makes sense that it's going to take a little bit longer for us to do that. What is that? This is not the tower, is it? It looks like you could enter, but it, pff, this is the tower, apparently. <laughs> Okay, well, we have a key. Can we just, like, use it? The key worked to open the door. You may enter. And enter we did. Okay. Whoa, there's... Welcome. You are inside of my body. <laughs> oh, brick road. Okay, well, we're going to attack these... Pre oh, all the presents went to battle. Okay. Interesting. The scalding coffee cup, the worthless protoplasm, and the mystical record. What a motley crew. Let's kill them all. Throw eggs at every single one of them. And let's do a row of foes. Thankfully, they're all in the one row. And then we'll just blast the coffee cup, which is strangely uh, spewing out red liquid. I'm not a coffee expert by any means, but traditionally, the coffees that I have had have actually been closer to a, uh, a brown or a tan even. Perhaps even like like an off-white if you just completely inundate it with cream. Look at that. We, we got a cup of coffee. We can't we can't take it unless there's something we want to rid ourselves of, which I don't think there actually is. I mean, there is, but not at this point in time. It's fine. Leave the cup of coffee behind. And these enemies uh, weren't actually all that tough. We killed them in the first, uh, well, the first turn, obviously, but the second uh, attempt... My statistics show about 70% of the people go to the right first. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to the left. Because <laughs> now I can save! Oh my god, it's amazing! And I can also use an ATM, which is pretty freaking handy. 
Uh, maybe I will get some cash and go get those items from that that dude. Huh? I think that, that might be a good idea, but what does the sign say? If you check this bench, it's like checking into a hotel. Okay. The dungeon owner's obligation to hire a doctor and a nurse. And that's in there, I guess, because there's the, the cross symbol. Uh, how are we doing on health? We're okay. Let's get some money out here, and then I'm gonna go buy some delicious upgrades items! Okay, now that we are properly equipped with the instruments of pain that these children need, we can progress further. So 70% of everyone goes this way first. We were not one of the 70%, but hey, we're going this way now. Keep this board in mind. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll do that. I'm not certain if that's like a troll thing or if that's actually something we have to remember. We'll see. Even though you can't get up there now, you might be able to later. Uh, up for the present. Oh, there are more presents assaulting us. Are they going to be weak enemies again? It looks like it's the same three. And we were able to deal with them just with eggs and fire alone. Farku can shoot, but he's not even going to need to. Yeah, the uh, the combined abilities of LP and Pongo's PSI will be more than enough to, uh, to round out this battle for us in record time. It's quite nice, really. Uh, we've had a, uh, <laughs> a heck of a time the last, like, few episodes with tough enemies, so it's a little comforting to, uh, well, to, to, to catch a break. Your first goal is to reach the four ropes. Okay. Oh, look at that. We're, we're so powerful, we don't even have to battle all of these individually. Uh, so we can go down there. Let's check this out real quick. There's a present over here, and if I'm... If I'm anything, I am a present loving boy. Place an item at the dead end. You are free to take it whenever you want. What does that mean? There's a Molokia soup inside. Well, let's get rid of something. What's what's a Molokia soup? We've got a Kraken soup we could probably get rid of, but I don't want to. Let's get rid of the mummy wrap. That's an offensive item, and we eh, don't need it. <laughs> We're plenty offensive on our own, right? Okay. So the Molokia soup. Help me. It is a summer vegetable from Scaraba. It's high in nutrients and it has a light flavor that Scarabins love. If you drink this, you recover about 80 health points. Cool. Cool, well, that's good to have. Um, and then there was obviously the bench and everything forward, but I want to read this sign real quick. Once a dungeon is built, monsters always start moving in. I mean, I guess that's true, right? Like, they, they need shelter, too. What are monsters if not just animals? <laughs> you have a long way to go. Getting some rest and relaxation may save you. Okay, so we can just recover it, all of these benches whenever we want. That, that looks like that's the case. Does it replenish our PP as well? It does! Oh, God, it does. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Well, that'll be good to keep in mind. We're met with a door. While you explore the dungeon, why don't you make a pit stop? Sure. I wonder why I'm not in this restroom right here. Just who am I? What is life all about? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you nervous? I'm not dangerous. Don't worry. Is this a bathroom? Or... <laughs> what is this? Uh, why not take a, take a break and go poop? It's great. Okay, well... We're forced to go this way. We could... Mm, there's stuff down there. We could go like that way. And boom! Since I'm a curious boy, we did go down this way. I want to see what all there is to offer. There's a present. Let's read the sign first. Items that are easy to get to are usually disappointing. I guess that's true, but but still that doesn't... Look, five dollars! Look at that! That's not disappointing at all. Is it... Is it a lot? No. But it's it's not disappointing, right? Disappointing to me is something that's uh, maybe not worth the effort or bad. And five dollars, I mean, sure, maybe it wasn't quite worth the effort all on its own of coming down here, but we've got uh, the way opened up to more, so it's fine. <laughs> and it's five dollars more than we had anyways in the first place. I'm not, I don't know, I'm no great philosopher or anything, but I think that as long as your situation has been improved, even if it's only marginally, that's something to be, you know, thankful for. <laughs> Too often uh, do we, uh, well, not count our blessings. The item left a present. Inside the present, there was a cup of coffee. I can't carry any more coffee, I'm sorry. 
or leave the coffee behind. Someone else who craves the caffeine can come by and suckle that up. In the meantime, we're leveling up, gaining one point in a few things and two to PP. That, there, kind of lackluster, but it's fine. Like I said, better than we were the first time, or before, excuse me. Open the present, there is a snake inside. The snake can stay, okay. And man, there is just all sorts of ways to go. Hey, there's the four ropes, that's what we need to get to. But what are these? Don't be a slacker, if you work hard, you'll get good stuff. I couldn't agree more with the opinion on the left billboard. Well, I'm glad that you two get along. <laughs> oh, this present's got a super plush bear. That is something we could take advantage of. But what do I want to get rid of? Um, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of the the bomb. We, we just don't use it. It's fine. The plush bear, we'll definitely use it. Look at that. It's our fourth party member ever since we were robbed of Prince Tingle. So, what is the goal here the goal is to get to those four ropes and to that effect i could go back up this way but there's one present left behind so we're gonna go check that out there is a useful item at the dead end after you make quite a long walk and what is the item what has lp one today okay <laughs> lp open the present there's a cup of life noodles Mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen he won the grand prize. And it's pretty useful because that's going to revive someone. Let's get rid of the broken iron. We don't... You freaking... Farku keeps fixing things in his sleep because he's insane and has sleep apnea. But he doesn't need to fix that. All right. <laughs> we have enough things. And I think the iron makes a, a slime generator. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I, I forget what the iron makes. But it's not something that we necessarily need because he has fixed a broken iron before... And we did not use it. Look at these presents, goodness gracious. You think a cup of coffee would learn better. And there's nothing, of course, that goes better with coffee than eggs. And that's not even a joke. I know I say a lot of wild crap that doesn't make sense half the time. But really, coffee and eggs? It's great. Of course not. <laughs> not, like, not like mixed together, of course. No. Sure, you could. You could like beat some eggs like you're making scrambled eggs and mix that... Uh, ooze that liquid into your coffee and that would be downright disgusting but a nice plate of scrambled eggs or even a couple over easy alongside a nice warm cup of coffee is quite tantalizing it's quite delicious if I do say so myself in fact it's like my go-to breakfast <laughs> uh, maybe like nine out of every ten days that's what I'm eating there's a car up there what is happening what is wrong with this place a bunch of presents back here. Okay, this is... <laughs> Let's read the sign. Let's not get too distracted. I built a bulletin board without a message. I mean, where is it? Because that was a message. Look at all this stuff. What is that? There's a bicycle, some sort of machine, a submarine, a yellow submarine to be specific. The Beatles would be all about it. Uh, a yellow taxi. And it looks like a, a save phone. Interesting. I don't... Maybe we have to take these ropes to get up there? They've each got their own sign, so let's read the first one. The grass is always greener on the other rope. I wonder why that is. The grass is always greener on the other rope. I wonder why that is. The grass is always greener on the other rope. I wonder why that is. The grass is always greener on the other rope. Uh, hmm. Okay, so... What clues have been given here? <laughs> what am I forgetting? that would help me solve this puzzle. Uh, I remember at the beginning of this little dungeon, there was a sign that said, hey, remember this sign for later. But I don't think there was like a number. Like if there was, maybe it would be like one, two, three, and four, and it would say something. I feel drawn to the third one. Let's let's see what this one has. Hmm, okay. So it's, it's, we could go back down and we probably will go back down so that we can venture forth through all of the different ways. This is the second floor of my body. What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> uh, what's a dungeon? That's my eternal question. Okay. Okay. Well, there's a lot of interesting questions being posed by the signage here. I'm not quite sure. You're standing right around my belly button. Is that it? Is that your, your navel? You've been shaving, buddy. I'm proud of you. Look at that. 
this music is one of my greatest accomplishments. So if this is your body, what is the music? Where is it emanating from? It's somewhere around your navel. There's an item at the dead end, but I have been known to be wrong occasionally. Sorry. Yeah, not this dead end. No such item. Unless I, like, can check for, like, an invisible item. I know that's a thing in uh, Pokemon games and other games, obviously, as well. Which, uh, which were influenced by Earthbound, of course, but it didn't seem that there was one there. It smells like flowers here. If you can't smell it, your nose must be stuffy. Smells like flowers around your belly button, huh? Well, you have been shaving and cleaning it. Oh my god. The most amazing dungeon I've ever met. Uh, don't assault me just yet. Ah, oh, goodness me. I wanted to get the present first. You lesser mook. Hmm, how tough are you? How tough am I? I had a bowl of nails for breakfast. Let's see, 142, uh, 320. Ooh, goodness. Ooh, good. Yeah, it didn't work on the bear, I think. <laughs> Goodness. All right, so we killed it in one round of physical attack, so that's nice to know that uh, the, the mooks are not necessarily strong. But with their PSI capabilities, they're, eh, they're dangerous nonetheless. There's a pizza inside. I love a pizza. Every cavern that I've ever gone into that's had a pizza, I've left it alone because that's a strange thing to do, just grabbing pizzas out of caves and eating it. But hey, we are children, <laughs> first and foremost, and we're insane! We're on an adventure, all right, and when life hands you pizza, you don't freaking question it. So let's see what life is handing us down here. Dungeon exploration is tough, but it's also fun. This is true. This is true. A sudden guts pill. Okay, we have one of those already. We've had it for a long time. We should probably get around to using it. Uh, let's get rid of this mummy wrap. And we'll take the guts pill. We really need to do some inventory management. I've mentioned this a million times. I know that you yourself have mentioned it a million times. Several of the viewers have mentioned it a million times. I need to put some items away in the Escargo Express. Uh, LP open the present. There's a... Ooh, a caramel, you say. That's very handy. Especially with, uh, you know, us relying upon PSI a handful, uh, or a bit more often than usual. Let's get rid of the broken spray can. It's fine. Whatever. Got the caramel. Cool. What does this sign say? There are lots of monsters up there, but don't stress out. Okay, so it looks like we might have gone the right way by taking the third rope up. And I want to pat myself on the back for that. But I also want to go back and explore the others before we start getting too high. So naturally, we'll start with number one all the way to the left here. Uh, ooh, welcoming crew laying in wait for us. Beautiful! The cute little UFO. A and B, you guys are adorable. I do love your bows. It'd be a shame if someone got eggs all over them. <laughs> someone like me. Oh goodness, they are uh, resistant, it would seem, to PSI. Uh, and maxing out their HP, not ideal. Thankfully we do have the teddy that's uh, absorbent there in the way of damage. Let's use physical damage. Uh, Farku killed one in one hit. Yeah, all right. Cute little UFO. Susceptible to being punched right in the jaw. Good to know. Uh, they dropped a cookie, too, as a cute UFO. It will do. Not necessarily something that I'm going to prioritize picking up at this point. The inventory is over-encumbered. We need no more of it. Uh, if you work hard, you don't have time to get burned. What do you, what do you mean by that? I mean... What if you work in a kitchen? Huh? I've worked in a kitchen. I know lots of people who have worked in kitchens, and if you're working hard, you're probably getting burned a number of times. <laughs> uh, learn from your mistakes. Follow this, and you're bound to be successful in Earthbound. Well, thanks for the encouragement. That's kind and actually solid advice, not just for Earthbound or even video games in general, but for life in its entirety. Uh, as long as you can, can keep learning and keep absorbing new information and new experiences and taking things away from that, then you'll be all right. You have a strong-looking body. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to be a dungeon worker? Is this sign hitting on me? I'm a child. Get out of here. You're disgusting. You're probably at least, I don't know, hundreds of years old. How do you measure the age of a sign? Is it is it like when the sign itself was built, or is it like the age of the tree or the organism or what have you that the sign was crafted from? It's kind of an interesting question. And also, so we're back with the third one. It looks like the third one was the way to go, and we didn't explore this area. 
at all. There's signs, there's burning things on the ground, there's the big hideous belly button, and a present. And this one has $10. Goodness gracious. This dungeon's never gonna financially recover from this. I put out a bulletin board, but it's probably unnecessary. Brick road. Okay, well thank you for that. <laughs> and this one, that's a hole down below. You don't have to worry about this for now. Isn't it your belly button? I thought it was your belly button. Have we been over here? I'm, I'm getting... Oh, it's a loop. Okay, I was like, I'm lost. What's going on over here? So we need to get back over to that rope. You see it, Ness, Ness is pining after it. We'll go there now. And now we ascend to lots of monsters, apparently. According to the sign, there's some ducks. Okay, well, that's not necessarily as horrific as I had imagined it might be. Mad duck. They can be a nice pet if they stay far away. <laughs> Oh, can't many things. This is the third floor of my body. The third of how many floors? Was I was I told how many floors there were in your body? I don't I don't know. Gruff goat. They have a really gruff kind of goat. Fascinating. This is like a, a zoo. It's like a bestiary or something. There's all sorts of little signs for the monsters here. Slimy little pile. He has a bad habit of burping. You disgust me. Oh, but really, who am I to judge? I also have a bad habit of burping. There's a wet towel in here. We don't really want it. Good night, bench. You know, I already did that, but let's do it again. You can never... Ooh, look at that. He fixed the broken tube, and it's the hungry HP sucker. That sounds pervase. What exactly does that do for us? Let's take a gander here real quick. A uh, hungry HP sucker. Items for FarQ sucks up some HP from all the enemies. The more HP the enemies have, the more you get. Can be used many times. That's pretty handy. It'll help FarQ stay, uh, you know, healthy. It's something of a healing item for him uh, that can be repeated. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, and we went from that way. Okay, cool. So the only thing to do is to continue up. Good job. You finally made it. There's a board upstairs that says that. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> so this is not yet the end, clearly. Good job, you finally made it. Oh. <laughs> Indeed, there is. What? That, we've seen this face before. That face is mine. Feel free to talk to it. Welcome. Long time no see. Mr. Farku, we met in winters along- That's right! He was in the dungeon! And now he is a dungeon. He wanted to be a dungeon. He's done unspeakable scientific experiments on his own body. Or he just, like, dug a hole in the wall and stuck his face through it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm Brick Road. Dr. Andernut's finally made me dungeon man. If you want, I'll come with you guys for a while. The return hole is over there. Jump in that hole and then walk out. Cool. Wait, do I have to tell you to come with us? Or how do you even come with us? You healing me? Okay, we're getting the same whole spiel he just gave, so... I guess we have no choice but to go down south here. Uh, multiple holes. Multiple holes. What does that mean? Return hole. Jump in with all your courage. But what is... What's the... What's this secret hole? I want to investigate the secret hole. Goodbye exit. Someday you should enter with courage. Oh, we can't even go over there. Okay, well, we do not have the courage for the secret hole, but we can go in this hole. Spit dunking. Uh, continuing down. We're gonna. There's a present on one of these, I think. Yeah, there it is. And it's got an IQ capsule. That's something we could use immediately. That's not like the uh, the sudden guts pill, which can be used in battle. I think the capsule itself can be used just to increase your IQ uh, permanently. But what do I have to get rid of here? Is the oh, oh, get rid of the slime generator. I've never used it. It's been in our inventory for like 13 years. And Farku's the guy that I want to have the IQ capsule used on anyway. So crack open that freaking tablet. And suck out the liquid inside, Farku. You're a maniac. And he drank it up by one. Perfect. We continue our descent. Uh, hold on. 
Wait, so did we do what we set out to do? Did we accomplish what we needed to in here? We never actually went in the hospital wing. So maybe that's something. Doesn't look anything special. No, it's... It's, it's a hospital. Yeah, it's a hospital, all right. And this guy's gonna, he's gonna eat some mushrooms? Hmm, okay, well, I have no idea what's happening. Maybe we should go outside? Oh God, more presents. Can you just stop existing, please? And just scatter some eggs here on the floor. And it's the same three, which is nice, I guess, but I just want, I just want to leave. Fire and shoot him. And so I don't know if I missed something or what, but we got all the way to the top of this dude's body. I uh, spoke to his face, he said maybe he can come with us sometime, and then pointed us towards the hole. There were two holes, one hole was blocked. We went in the one hole that we had no choice to, and I don't think that we missed anything on the way down. So let's exit entirely and see what that does for us. Oh my god. Well, hold up. <laughs> He's with us. He is with us. We have... A fourth party member, and it's a freaking huge chungus. Does he fight in battle, and what does he do? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, fine. Well, let's eliminate this thing real quickly, and then we're going to have to in explore it a little bit, I guess. I don't... What are we going to... Uh, what are we going to do with it? Obviously something, right? But I didn't explore any part of this desert really before before I came over to to him so I'm not I'm not certain what's out there <laughs> there's got to be something it's got to be something so let's continue south and see just how far we can go before we get assaulted again who is this it's the beautiful UFO if you're anything like the pretty little UFO you don't have to be uh ooh, physical damaged Thank you, Dungeon Man. <laughs> Thank you, Dungeon Man. Goodness gracious, we are all missing incredibly. Enemy left a present inside the present with Kraken soup. Delicious. I don't know what the spaceship was doing with soup at all, but I'm thankful. We go over here. No, not so much. But we can get our photo taken with this freaking behemoth. Great. You're going to have to back up, dude. I don't think you're going to be able to get this guy in the frame. <laughs> you're just going to get his... I don't know, is that his belly button? What is that? A big bulbous circle thing. Either which way, I think that might be my favorite photo yet. Look at us chilling out here next to an oasis, garnering heat stroke, getting assaulted by more freaking UFOs. Nope, by Marauder Octobots. It's amazing. It's just truly astounding. Pongo, freeze this thing. And hopefully we can kill him in one turn so it doesn't hurt us. No LP, you missed! You missed, I didn't like that. And he missed, and Dungeon Man gave me a hug. Thanks for that. <laughs> or Dungeon Man gave the Marauder a hug and that's why it couldn't move? That's probably, uh, that's probably the truth of the matter. Okay. So I don't think we can go any further southwest. We can't go any further south, we've met with the ocean. Uh, it looks like there's a peninsula of some sort right there, so <laughs> that's that's next on my on my agenda here of things to figure out. Uh, kind of, mm, I don't know, just running with running with the wind here, man. Uh, there's there's a certain lack of guidance, and there's we can't even get back to mainland uh, Scarba. Like we can't go into the town because we're surrounded by water. Are we supposed to, like, ride on top of this dude? We're getting further away from it, though. Yeah, we are, like, south of the map itself. So I don't know what that means. Oh, no, I am getting caught in the palm trees. Oh, I cannot move. Well, if I can't move, it's okay. LP, it makes me sad. But I must say goodbye here. My eternal resting place. What? So will you... What? Wait... What? You kidding me? <laughs> well, we, 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 we had to have missed out on something. There's no way, like, whatever he was used for, 
we didn't get to use them for, and now it's stuck. Son of a chickamongus, what have I done? I don't know, but hopefully we'll figure it out next time. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then.